Well, hello everybody. I'm sorry that I can't be with you today. The summit is a great opportunity to hear about the progress that the Consumer Goods Forum is making on the five strategic pillars that define its activities. As you recall, three years ago at the London summit, the board passed two resolutions, one on deforestation and the second on refrigeration, both in fact addressing the critical issue of climate change. Phil Clark will cover progress on refrigeration. I will update you now on deforestation. The board of the Consumer Goods Forum pledged to mobilize resources within their respective businesses to help achieve zero net deforestation by the year 2020. An excellent steering committee formed from over 20 companies helped us to map out this goal. The committee has already published recommendations on sourcing sustainable palm oil and soy. Sourcing guidelines for paper and packaging are just being finished. The committee has also developed a range of supporting tools for individual companies to implement the commitments. In addition to these company initiatives and the programs led by the Consumer Goods Forum, we recognized from the outset that we would also need to work in partnership with others. We simply cannot achieve this target alone. In fact, with a group of financial institutions, we formed the Banking Environment Initiative. That mission simply is to encourage the banking industry to direct capital towards environmentally and socially sustainable economic developments. Already now, 11 global banks have signed up and more are considering. The second partnership we formed was the Tropical Forest Alliance. This partnership was born out of discussions between the US government, the Consumer Goods Forum and others, equally again to eliminate tropical deforestation. It has subsequently grown to include other governments as well as international institutions. In fact, the first public meeting for the Alliance will take place in June in Indonesia. It will bring together the world's biggest palm and paper companies, the governments of Indonesia, the US, the Netherlands, the UK, as well as Australia, the World Bank, the IFC, 25 NGOs, and yes, many Consumer Goods Forum companies. I believe this is a great opportunity to leverage the work we've undertaken and the commitments we've made. Two partnerships on the way, and hopefully more to come to realize our vision. We've also seen our work in the Consumer Goods Forum widely being recognized as an industry example of taking the leadership to address this crucial issue. For example, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, has referenced the Consumer Goods Forum sustainability commitments in his talks about deforestation. And the high-level panel on post-2015 Millennium Development Goals recognized it as one of the major partnerships globally. And the United Nations have invited the Consumer Goods Forum to bring our collective knowledge and experience to the process of developing the next round of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. But we all know that partnerships do not come without responsibilities. It is our responsibility as members of the Consumer Goods Forum to continue to demonstrate leadership in this area and action on the critical issues. Therefore, I ask all of us, all of the Consumer Goods Forum member companies, to further step up our engagement and to review once more our own policies and plans for sustainable sourcing to ensure that we all deliver on our deforestation commitments. This will need your personal commitment and follow through. By doing so, we can make a real difference and further enhance the reputation of this great industry. To remind us all, deforestation actually accounts for 17% of all greenhouse gas emissions, more than the entire transport sector. By eliminating it from our supply chains, we will have a meaningful impact on a planetary scale. Something I believe we can all be very proud of. Thanks for your time, and more importantly, thanks for your personal support behind this important initiative. Thank you very much.